What's up everyone? Today's video is brought to you by Finish Line and I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Flyknit Racer in the Blue Glow and Yellow Strike colorway. First off, I just wanted to give a big thank you to Finish Line for sending these my way. These released on March 10th and they retailed for a price of 150 US dollars or $200 here in Canada. The official colorway for this is Blue Glow, Yellow Strike and Black. If you've seen any of my other Flyknit Racer reviews, this shoe takes that same silhouette, it's the same exact look, and the only difference is really the color of the Flyknit that they used. Taking a look at the lateral side first, the Flyknit used on this side is a combination of blue glow and black. You see though that there's this hard transition right at this toe box area, and it wraps its way around the medial side, and this Flyknit is made up of yellow strike, blue glow, and black. That's why there's a distinct difference between this side of the shoe versus this side. So on this side from far away, it looks like it's green, but when you take a close look, you can see it's a mixture of three colorways of flannel. Both sides of the shoe, there is a Nike swoosh and that is done in pure black. The laces on these shoes are your standard flannel racer rope laces done in black. This sits atop this black colored tongue that has this Nike flannel racer branding done in blue glow on a black base. There is fly wire cables found on both sides of the midfoot and the color of the fly wire is blue glow on the lateral side and it's black on the medial side. Flipping the shoe over to the back, we have the standard Flyknit Racer pull tab in this black nylon material with hits of 3M at the very edge. One thing I did notice is that because this blue glow and the yellow strike Flyknit is so distinct from one another, it really shows off all the variations in the Flyknit weave. So between this pair, which is the left foot, compared to the right foot, you can see that this one has a lot more of this yellow strike, whereas the right foot looks a lot more blue. This flannet upper sits atop this two-toned phylon foam midsole that is white on the bottom and black on the top. These racers do have a zoom air cushioning unit that's located underneath the forefoot. Flipping it over to the bottom, this is your standard flannet racer outsole that has this waffle skin rubber outsole in black and it has this Nike swoosh on the middle of the outsole done in blue glow. Last but not least, we have this removable ortholite insole in black with this Nike Flyknit Racer branding done in blue on the heel. In terms of sizing, these fit the same as all my other Flyknit Racers, so I do stick with my true size, which is a 10 and a half. If you do have wider feet, this shoe is a bit narrow, so some people with wider feet do go up a half size. So for me personally, I do enjoy the more firm cushioning setup that exists on this shoe. This is not going to feel the same as an Ultra Boost, so the Ultra Boost is going to feel a lot more squishy, and this one in comparison is going to feel a bit more thin in the forefoot especially, and the midfoot and the heel does have a bit of a narrow footprint, so some people don't really like how this shoe kind of feels a bit narrow and a little bit unstable. So now I'll give you guys a look at how these blue glow flying racers look on feet. So that's about it. So that wraps up my quick review of the Blue Glow and Yellow Strike Flyknit Racer. Once again, thank you to Finish Line for sending these my way. If you guys are located in the States and you do want to grab a pair, they are still available on finishline.com. And if you are in Canada, select sizes are available on nike.ca. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And until then, I will see you guys in my next review.